Well, we're back. And I'd like to welcome you to another episode and season of Movies on Jag. You guys sure missed a lot while we were out. Caleb and the other in-house Star Wars experts have had a complete falling out, which has caused the, com the whole in-house Star Wars expert council to completely crumble. Caleb hasn't been the same since. Maybe we should go check on him. Well, actually on second thought, why don't you guys go check on him? I'll just stay right here. Not like I have a choice or any free will or anything anyway. See ya. both saw the movie. Everybody wants to know your thoughts about it. No, the... no, no. The fans are more divided now than when the prequels came out. We, we shouldn't feed into it. Uh, the fan base is just all over the place. For now, let's just discuss the next movie that, that we're going to see. But you're changing the format. Gray's going to be really upset about that. He'll get over it. He'll have to. Get over it? I'm going to have to get over it? On my show? Caleb, let me tell, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something about Caleb. This guy right here, he sure is a real piece of work. I mean, this guy right here, sure is something. I'll tell you what, he sure is a piece of work. Caleb, you're doing a great job, Caleb. Keep doing what you're doing. Great job. I guess we should uh, get on with it now, now that he... Recommend that. All right. Next time we'll be watching Maze Runner, The Death Cure which is an American dystopian science fiction action film directed by Wes Ball and written by T.S. Nolan, based on the book of the same name, written by James Dashner. It is the sequel to the 2015 film Maze Runner The Scourge Trials and the third and final installment in the Maze Runner film series. The film stars Dylan O'Brien. All right, so... I have not seen any of the films in this. I saw the first one a really long time ago, and it was pretty cool. Okay. Uh, I mean, I know, I know the basic premise there, they, they, well, for the first film, they start off in a maze, Dylan O'Brien's character is thrown in, he doesn't know who he is, and then eventually he starts to be the leader of everybody in the maze. Mm -hmm. Kind of, sort of. There's a power dynamic going on, but in the end they find out that him and the uh, generally only girl, yeah, they were actually part of the people that did this maze because there's like a worldwide plague and they're testing people to try yeah. to find the cure or whatever. Which is what this film is going to be about, from I what I understand yeah. from the trailers. Yeah, I don't know what happened in the second one. I know, I think they kind of partially got out. Yeah, from what I read of synops... synopsize? Synopsis. I guess? Synopsises. Yeah. It's uh, basically the second film they get into, thrown into a different maze at some point, like the... and that's why it's like... The Scorch Trials, they're in a different uh, maze. I guess, I don't and, know, I've really uh, no idea. From what I understand. <laughs> and anyways, but yeah, uh, I will probably watch the first two films before we go and see this. I'll watch the second one and brush up on the first. 
Sounds like a plan. Yeah. Do you have anything else to do? Yeah. Wear my poncho. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I, don't, I think it, the first one was really good. Dylan O'Brien's a good actor, though. I mean, we, we yeah. saw that from when we saw American Assassin. <laughs> yeah, he is good. Like, he was the only, well, him and Michael Keaton were the only two good, really good things in that. And the villain. Yeah. I don't know how well accepted the second one was, but I did like the first, so I guess. I know the kid from Chronicles of Narnia was in that one. Yes. And the girl from Skins. Oh, Isn't yeah. she? She was in the, yeah, I don't, she should be, yeah, she's in the second one because she's in the third one. I don't know why okay. she wouldn't be in the second. <laughs> All right, so we should, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, we'll, cool. we'll see it. All right, so there's no avoiding it now. We're going to talk about the film that we're pretty sure most people are waiting to hear our thoughts on. So, Star Wars Episode Eight: The Last Jedi was directed by Ryan Johnson and came out over the break. In the film, Rey, played by Daisy Ridley, develops her newly discovered abilities with the guidance of Luke Skywalker, played by Mark Hamill, who is unsettled by the strengths of her powers. Meanwhile, the Resistance prepares for the battle with the First Order. So, I'm assuming you saw it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, like, did you like it? Was it interesting? Let's hear your thoughts first <laughs> okay. before we uh, get to mine. All right. I mean, like, I liked it. Um, the first one, I wasn't really that impressed with. Mm -hmm. I feel like. Oh, uh, you mean of like the Disney trilogy yes, since they've yes, taken over? Since they've taken over. Yeah, I um, I liked it, but I don't know. I haven't seen the ones the first ones that are the second group of them in forever. I've pretty much seen the ones that were set in the 2000s, oh, okay, the yeah, most recent. Yeah. So I really, I did enjoy it. I didn't like the way they had like Luke portrayed throughout this one. It kind of ticked me off. Mm -hmm. But right, I like her. I like that they continued to have much of the characters. I was kind of serious, like curious to see how they would deal with Han's death because that hurt my feelings. And I really want to know what they're going to do with Leia since, you know, Carrie Fisher. Because I really, I thought she was going to die in this one. Mm -hmm. And she... Did it. Yeah. But she's going to be in the third one. I'm like, how are they going to do it with that? Maybe CGI or something, so... Yeah. Anything you want to add? You don't understand. I am the last of the in-house Star Wars experts. I need to let it in with me. There cannot be any more. The opinions on this film... They're too mixed. It's become dangerous. Saying an opinion either way could lead to the destruction of a Tumblr post somewhere by someone who doesn't have anything better to do than argue on the internet. It's a scary time, Lexi. It used to be that you could say you loved a Star Wars movie, other than the prequels, of course, and everyone would tend to agree. Things have changed now. As the leader of the in-house Star Wars Experts Council, I tried to repair the divide that The Last Jedi caused. I thought... I thought for just a brief second that I could destroy the divide by destroying those causing it. It was foolish of me to think so. In that brief moment, they saw me. I don't know who is more scared, myself or them. They turned on me. They destroyed the entire in-house Star Wars Expert Council. They have crossed over to the other side. I am the last one left. And that's why it has to end with me. Okay, come on now, Caleb. I think you're being a little bit more dramatic here. I just want to know what your thoughts were on it. It's not that bad. No, I, I can't. No. I must. I love The Last Jedi. I love the Porgs. I loved how they portrayed Luke Skywalker. I love Poe's storyline as a hotshot pilot who learns to think first. I love how Leia used her big force moment in the film. I love the reveal that Rey's parents are nobody. I love the surprise killing of Snoke. I was okay with Rose and Finn being a thing. They, they, they needed a little more time for me. Um, it felt more like Rose was just an uh, in-universe fangirl to Finn. Uh, anyways, I love the movie. To be uh, a little more serious for a second, though, I think the film has its flaws, just like any other. The main goal of The Last Jedi, though, was to move away from what the fans perceived in The Force Awakens as a retread. While this movie had moments like that, they quickly would squash on them and twist our expectations. A lot of the hardcore fans went in with a lot of expectations of how a certain characters should act and how they believed they would after 30 plus years of knowing them. I mean, that's fair to think. I mean, that's how fans work. But now that the official material says you're wrong, I understand where some of the lashback is coming from. I don't think it's deserved to be wiped from canon and remade like some out there um, want it to be for episode eight. 
but I acknowledge there are issues. Overall, it's a su success to me. Uh, I mean, and I'm interested to see where J.J. Abrams goes with it in episode nine. Wow, I am finally glad I got to talk to you about it. Anyways, thanks for watching Movies on Jag. We're going to see you next week. Be sure to like and subscribe to us here at YouTube. And if you live on the campus storms, check out Jag TV out on channel 611.